Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about the 10 worst and best car manufacturers that sell cars in the United States. But I'm not going to include the European companies because I don't advise anybody to buy those for various reasons. I'm talking about all the others. Now I'm going to start with the worst ones. And number one as the worst manufacturer of cars sold in the United States is Fiat Chrysler. No surprise there. Chrysler had low quality problems to begin with. They fooled the Germans when they were Daimler Chrysler. The Germans lost billions on that deal and then they dumped them and then Fiat bought them out. Well it's like going from the frying pan into the fire having Chrysler and Fiat merge. Now Fiat itself left the United States decades ago and they came back but Look how horrid their car sales are going now. The actual Fiat brand in the United States sold less than a thousand vehicles in June of 2019. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Well, the Americans don't want to be shamed, so they're not buying these Fiats. But of course, the Fiat technology is in many of these Chrysler cars, the engines, the transmissions, and a lot of it is pure garbage. I've had customers who bought brand new ones, the engines blew up at 40,000 miles. The transmissions never even shifted right in the first place. They're just terrible vehicles. And I would advise to stay far away from them. So if you only listen to one thing that I say, make sure that you don't buy a Fiat Chrysler product if you value your money. Now the second worst vehicles as far as I'm concerned are GM vehicles. It doesn't matter if you call them GM, GMC, Cadillac, whatever. They're all owned by General Motors. I remember when I was a kid they had a song, what's good for General Motors is good for the USA. Ha! Well it's a good thing that that's not a truism anymore because if the country was in the same shape as General Motors we'd be in dire straits then. Now I learned to drive on a Chevy Biscayne. It was like a boat. You didn't drive it. You sailed it down the road. But it was a pretty bulletproof vehicle. It ran and ran and ran, but it was in Niagara Falls, New York, so everything rusts there. And eventually the body rusted out, but we sold it to a guy who ran a junkyard. He took the engine out and put it in his junkyard truck that he went around picking up junk with and drove it for years and years. The engine kept going, but sadly, if you jump to today, General Motors products just aren't what they used to be. Their quality control is... They're moving a lot of production to China. Maybe they'll move it all over there. I don't know, get better quality control. But the stuff they're making over here, many of my customers that had GM products told me they will never buy another one if they bought one that was made in the last eight, 10 years. Especially when we're talking about smaller cars. GM never really made very well built small cars. But overall, the company just doesn't show that they're making quality products anymore. I'd stay away from them too. Now number three on the list is Nissan. They kind of merged, were taken over by Renault a couple decades ago. Now for me it's a sad case because when I was young they were called Datsuns and they were little cars that could run forever. Then they came out with the sports cars, the 240Zs, and they were great sports cars. After they merged with Renault, and yeah, the early 2000 ones, they could be okay. That was after the merger. But you go 2006 or above, they are making a lot of junk. I had customers with them, 40,000 miles. The mufflers would fall off. I mean, that's a simple thing. If they can't even weld a muffler in a car correctly, think of what they're doing with the rest of the cars. They make horrible transmissions, and they make a lot of CVT transmissions that just fall apart. I see more Nissans with CVTs going out, and then people find out that, hey, it's going to cost me six, eight thousand dollars to put another transmission in, and the car's worth three or four, and they just junk the car. So stay away from Nissan if you value your money. The number four on my list, Kia. I would not buy a Kia. Now if you're cheaper and you want to save some money, they can be okay cars. If you don't drive more than 100,000 miles or keep more than six or eight years, they're just cheaper made. They don't have the quality. And you're not saving all that much money. I did a video the other day and I showed that back in 2008, if you got a Kia SUV, $6,000 cheaper than the RAV4 SUV. And even though the quality was a lot poorer, I worked on one the other day, it had 50,000 miles in the air conditioning, it had already broken, the compressor went out on it. But if you compared a 2019 Kia SUV to the Toyota RAV4, 
you were saving less than two thousand dollars buying a Kia and for that small amount of money hey I'd buy the Toyota every time if you want a long-lasting car that doesn't give you any troubles you don't buy a Kia now the last manufacturer that I wouldn't buy cars from I rate as low is Mitsubishi they're kind of like the Kias they've always been cheaper made cars many of my customers Mitsubishi's at an early age they burned a lot of oil I don't know why they can't learn from history they've always had cheap piston rings they just burn oil as they age go back three decades ago I had a customer with one that blew smoke looked like they were fumigating for mosquitoes driving down the road often you can only get parts at the dealer where the prices are extremely high and a lot of people don't know how to work on them so you go to the dealer you're going to pay outrageous prices to get them fixed so even though they're cheaper to buy they can be much more expensive to fix and really there's so much choice these days in decent vehicles why would you go and try to save a little bit of money getting one that's a lot cheaper made the piston rings wear out the engines burn oil now yeah they do cost less that's how they sell them you can get a Mitsubishi Mirage they start at like $13,000 that said I've had customers that were happy with them for a while they don't fall apart as soon as you buy them and since they're a cheaper car people always want to buy something that costs less but if you really value your money over time you'd be better off buying a used Toyota or a used Honda than you would be buying a brand new Mitsubishi those will probably last two to three times as long as you keep them a long time here come the five best ones number five is Subaru which might surprise you because I generally tell people I'm not a Subaru fan I'm not a Subaru fan but lately they've been making some interesting engine designs if you live in a really snowy area system in a Subaru is pretty much one of the best systems out there they're the ones that really want whole hog on all-wheel and four-wheel drive systems they got that down pat you live where there's a lot of snow a Subaru may not be a bad idea and yeah in the past they had head gasket problems their automatic transmissions were garbage I still tell people today if you really have a choice in a Subaru get a standard transmission now number four is Mazda now I'm not a big Mazda fan myself but there are reasons you could buy a Mazda let's say you want a little cute sports car you can't beat the Mazda Miata for the money they're excellent cars lately my customers with Mazdas they've been reasonably happy with the vehicles and they're pretty dependable vehicles now number three on my list of the better made cars is Ford people might say oh it's an American manufacturer well their quality has gone up and they're more or less starting to specialize here in the United States they're pretty much giving up on the car market they're only going to be making Mustangs and they're going to be stressing pickup trucks and SUVs which as far as I'm concerned is a smart move on Ford they're smaller cars they weren't that well made they had problems so with Ford sticking to what they do best trucky type things hey I put them number three on the list then number two on the list is Honda Honda actually makes the best engines in the world their engines are even better than Toyota's Honda has less engine related failures on their vehicles than even Toyota Honda's one on the list for engines and Toyota's number two and just like Toyota they have a wide range of vehicles you can buy in here again Honda's have really good resale values because they're generally really well-built cars but as I always warn people you got to do a little research on anything because some of the newer Hondas that have the GDI turbocharged engines have an oil dilution problem I wouldn't buy one of those until they ironed it out but that's a rarity with Honda they usually don't make big mistakes and of course Toyota is the best car manufacturer period people can whine all they want say oh they're not as quality as they used to be well nothing is but they're still better than all the rest they hold up yeah you're gonna pay more for one but there's the market for you Toyotas have insanely high resale values why because people know they're good the market isn't gonna lie on that if cars are crappy like Jaguars check their resale value oh yeah, I get customers if they're crazy enough they can buy a beautiful looking used Jaguar that's seven or eight years old for a couple of grand you know so now you know the bottom five and the top five car manufacturers in the United States that you can buy so if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.